one thing I've noticed across board of the various schools that participated, be it global, um, private um, and public schools, is the enthusiasm the kids bring to the class. Green, yellow, red. Very good. Now you're going to start working on the green, yellow and red. We're coming to show the practical for the other blink. Double E, and you close the words, you close the brackets. Robots can be created for any specific task you think about, anything. And that's why there's a lot of development going on. Beyond this that you have been introduced to, this is just like an understanding of what robot can do. My stay here was great. I learned about robotics, and robotics has made me know that nothing is impossible. I aspire to be a computer programmer in the future and creating websites and other things will surely help me. We're planning on carrying out a traffic light that's really enjoyable. Our teacher is really good, he explains very well and is really interactive. In Nigeria, we are still used to the, the traditional way of doing electricity. So we'll see how we can introduce students and teachers to renewable energy where we can source for power using other means. Lecture the students it's, to actually build something like this. It's actually a, a, a robot. You know, we taught them on how to build this from scratch and also to program it to do carry out simple tasks. I welcome you officially to the science and cocktail events, a mixture of science and cocktail. That I'm really very excited for the enthusiasm that I see, I've been seeing over the last uh, yesterday and today with respect to advancing science and technology amongst youths. The Nigerian workforce and the economy needs people who can adapt to a changing workplace. They are willing to even train people in these skills, train people in technology, train people in engineering, train people in mathematics and science.